free sight, eh? Nope. Look at this guy. Nope. Time to build a real black soldier fly bin out of these. Coming up next. Okay, so the thing about black soldier flies is that you don't need to let them stay in their stock. You just don't need to let them stay in a bucket like we had over there. Because what happens is, is the, uh, the water fills in and they end up just sort of living in their own poop and stuff. You got to have a way to drain that stuff off. So what we're going to do is take these, took a similar bucket, big bucket like this, we're going to chop it in half. What I would recommend you do if you're just using five gallons would be to just drill a bunch of holes in the bottom and that's basically what we're going to do here. So. Doesn't have to be a regular perfect pattern or anything. here. Wow, a little bit thicker right there. And then we're going to come back and drill some more here, say about like so. Sort of, you know, between so you can see. Next thing we're going to need is bedding. We have plenty, and I mean plenty, of pine straw. So we're going to use pine straw as our bedding. Just lightly rake it here. And uh, gosh, as much as you want. You can use uh, whatever bedding you have. You know, you may have old leaves. Uh, it's similar to the bedding for worms like red worms, except they won't eat it. The black soldier flies only eat nitrogen-based stuff, so this hard, coarse stuff like that, they won't eat it. But it'll help the water drain off once we put it back into the thing. I'm just using my little, I don't have my garden rake. I think I just let it stay outside and it rusted. And, <laughs> and so we just take this stuff and, you know, those twigs like that. Uh, And so, let's get you a bunch of handfuls like that. We're going to fill the barrel up here and get back over and show you. This should be about enough right here. That will be enough at least. If it ain't, we can always come get some more. Friends, that might be enough. We didn't even use half of it. And see all that stuff like that? Just let it stay in there. You're just trying to create an environment that they're used to, and, and this is going to pack down. So the whole point is just to, you're going to cover up those holes. Now, let's take all this nasty stuff. Pour it off in there and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now the water is just going to drain off. Ooh. Mushroom. Right? So <laughs> we're gonna have to just go rinse this bad boy out. But you get the idea. 
Um, it's all leftover black soldier flies. They're long since dead. There's no way they've survived. But uh, the idea now is that you have some kind of a cover so that when it rains, you at least have that. And that'll sort of keep the dogs away as well, and, and the flies can find their way in here. And uh, there we have a nice little black soldier fly bin, as you can see right here next to the old humble abode. And so when we come to harvest, we just pull that off. All the water's drained out. Now the big trick is to get all this gunk into here. Uh, I've generally found that a 150 pound bag, if you haven't watched my black soldier fly bin, how to start one, go watch it. In fact, I'll probably just put it part of the series and you can just watch the next video how to set it up. This is going to be a much better way to go. See, this way the, the soldier flies, if they want to get out, they can naturally just crawl out and get out. I'm not trying to necessarily harvest them with this because, you know, the only reason I'm using the black soldier flies right now is to catch the bluegill and the bluegill is going to catch the big catfish. I don't feel like having to run and hunt skipjack and cast net and all that junk. I'm a good bluegill fisherman, you guys have seen it. Uh, and so we got a good system for catching big bluegill. Let's use those big bluegill to catch some monster catfish this season. What do you think?